Every girl in every workshop like Windsor knots much better than half Windsors. They don't know what they're looking at. All they know is that one's symmetrical and it looks nice. But a Windsor knot's a motherfucker to tie when you first learn. I was in a fraternity in college, mostly Italians. And they were all sharp dressers, and they told me I had to become a sharp dresser. And I said, why? They said, because the girls like it, and we want the girls to come to our parties. Okay. So all the gammas were dressed all the time. Art Gallo taught me how to tie a Windsor knot, small and tight. Makes a perfect triangle, and it's straight across the top. It, the knot's really tight, but the tie comes out the bottom of the knot. Oops. There's little wrinkles, they're called dimples. And that makes you look a lot more put together to the women. I'm reporting from workshops, maybe 15 workshops. And the girls all say the same thing. They don't know a Windsor knot from a half Windsor from a four knee. They don't know. They, I just say, who has the best tie knot in your group? There's one girl in the middle and five guys standing around. And she goes around, she picks the best knot. They point to the guy with the black lace-ups. They don't like loafers, like slip-ons. They all say you look better without your glasses, period. The point is, if you can't see, get LASIK surgery. My daughter got it, and she said it's the best thing she ever did. My friend, John, Dr. John, one of the most famous guys and who's been on the list and become very successful, got it when he was 35. He said, I wish I'd have done this when I was 25. So it lasts and works. Get it. Manly haircut. How do you get a manly haircut? You say to the girl or the guy who's cutting your hair, make me look manly. Then shut up and sit the fuck down. And don't argue with them. Let them make you manly. They know what looks manly. And you don't want any trend, you say. Make me look manly, but no trendy stuff. Whatever you got left, she, he, she, he or she is going to do the best they can. And I wouldn't want any process in my hair, any of that shit. Just say, I don't want to have to wear gunk every day. You know, they want to twist it and fuck it. And none of the, none of, if they try to sell you that look where it looks like you slept all night, no, you don't want that. You want hair that looks like a successful businessman. If you're, like, say, over 35. If you're under 35, you should look like you're successful and not trying to be 20. Don't try to look young with your haircut or your clothes or anything. The way you talk, none of that. Be your age, act your age. The best book of mine is Clothes Make Demand. That's going to change your life at work and out in the social world. Everything in it is from my dad, who was a taxi cab driver during the Depression as he worked his way through dental school. And he used to ask the people, the people rode in the cab in those days during the Depression, they had money, why do you wear that color tie with that suit? And he would ask because he knew someday he was going to have to do it. So he learned everything there was to know about suits during the three years he drove the cab. And he would always take me to Pittsburgh, we we lived we lived in Appalachia, way the fuck up in the middle of nowhere, and the suits there were just like most guys go to Sears and Roebuck and they buy a black suit. Black should never be worn except to funerals. Your fingernails should always be clean because she doesn't want that dirt in her pussy. And another thing, none of them like men who put uh, clear nail polish on their nails. They say it looks too much like a sissy. General advice, always look as good as you can and look successful. I said in one video, you can look successful if you're wearing shorts and flip-flops because the boys have all this goopy hair, hookah shell, necklaces, bracelets, goopy shit, all of jewelry, ear piercings, all that silly shit. And you're just a man. So that makes you look successful compared to boys, and that's who you're trying to outdo when you're going after girls like this babe right here. And you're going after one of these, he's got to look better than the boys. Most young women I met are interested in an older man as a plaything, a toy, a conquest, something they can tell their girlfriends about. They're really not interested in having a long-term relationship with you. They're just in having fun with you. And that's the way you need to present yourself. I'm sure someone can have a good time. 
I had a friend who was very blatant about being wealthy. We'd be surrounded by a bunch of girls at a party or a restaurant or wherever the fuck we were. And he would say, you, you want to go to Paris with me next week? <laughs> and of course they want to go to Paris next week. They don't care if they know the guy or not. They'll get on a plane with you. The back of the original cover said, let it happen, don't make it happen. That's the essence of what I learned in going from zero to being able to date just about anybody I wanted in five years. And if you can't get a date right now, it's going to take you five years to get to where I am. So don't expect you're going to pick up this book and it's got like magic formulas. It's got principles, fundamentals, the way women think, what they want, what their agenda is, or what they want from you. That's if you're older. If you're younger, what they want from you is companionship and sex. They want companionship and sex from you. If you're older, too, it doesn't make any difference. But mainly, when you're a male and she's a female, she wants companionship and sex in general. Well, if you're older, she wants to have a good time. Okay, and you can provide it. Jimmy can't Jimmy can't go to Vegas on a whim, but you can.